Shari Lewis. No, I'm Shari Lewis. Oh, then I'm the other one. <laughs> yes. I'm Lamb Chop. And we're here to tell you a wonderful story about music. I love music. They know that. How do they know? It says so on the package. What does it say? This program is called Lamb Chop Loves Music. I knew that. <laughs> If you'd like to play along with us during the story, then click right here. If you'd rather just sit back and listen while we tell the story to you, click over here. If you've already heard the story and you want to go back to your favorite part, just click here. If you'd like to visit the music store and find out all about your favorite instruments, just click here. If you'd like to visit the game room and play some musical games, just click here. And when it's time for you to say goodbye, oh, I know Lamb Chop, but our friends will have to leave sometime. As I was saying, when you want to say goodbye, then click right here. Yuck. Nah. -uh. Yes, yes, Sherry. Yo, now you got it. Well, thank you, Lamb Chop. Why aren't you asleep? Because I was listening to you play the piano. Oh. I want to play the piano, too. Why? Why, why? Why do you want to play the piano? Oh, why, why? <clears throat> um, yum, yum, yum. Because you play the piano. Okay. And also because we got one. <laughs> well, you know, darling, you can play the piano, but there are a lot of other wonderful instruments that you might enjoy playing, too. No, I want to play the piano, and I want to play it right now. Hey, 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 right now, you are going to sleep. No way, Jose. Uh, you haven't even told me my bedtime story. Okay, okay, okay. I will tell you a story about music, and it's called The Musicians of Bremen. Bremen? Bremen. Once upon a time, in a very distant land, far away, far away, um, there lived a farmer, and his name was uh, fa Farmer Sch Schnickelpickle. What was his name? Farmer <laughs> Schnickelpickle. <laughs> now, Farmer Schnickelpickle had an old horse. And, you know, the horse used to do things like carrying heavy loads, pulling the wagon, moving the plow. Well, one day, Farmer Schnickelpickle said to his horse, Now that you're old and you can no longer carry heavy loads or work long days in the field, you've got to get out of here. You, you mean, why? Because, he said, I need the space in my barn for my new tractor, which will do all the work that you used to do, but faster and better. He's, I can't believe, he's going to, He's just going to throw the guy, the horse, out into the cold, you know, cold, cold like that. Yep. With no food. No food. I certainly hope this story has a happy ending. <laughs> Stick around and find out. The sad, hungry, cold horse wandered along the road which led to the city of Bremen. Oh. And on his way, he met an old dog howling at the side of the road. Uh. What's the matter? 
Farmer Hammer Schlammer decided that I was too old to be a watchdog, so he went out and bought a burglar alarm instead. Say, you have an ear for music. Actually, I've got two ears, see? Ooh, good. Let's team up. I love music, too. And that same afternoon, horse and dog were on their way to Bremen together, determined to become musicians. Later that day, horse and dog met an old cat sitting on a swing by the road. What's the matter? Farmer Zingenklingen decided I was too old to chase mice and rats out of his barn, so he bought a mouse trap instead. Now I have nowhere to live. <laughs> Cover your petals when you sneeze. <laughs> Would you like a handkerchief? Shine on, shine on, harvest. 
darkness moon up in the sky. <laughs> Cats seemed to enjoy music as much as the horse and dog did, so they invited her to come to Bremen with them. <laughs> the horse, the dog, and the cat called their musical group the Musicians of Bremen. And together they were the happiest creatures in the world. Why? Well, these old animals just knew that as musicians, people would once again want them, need them, and admire them. You know, excuse me, what? You know what this story really, really needs? What? A younger animal. A younger animal? Why? Somebody who likes to help older people like grandmas and grandpas, you know? Somebody who would run fast for them and carry their heavy stuff. Somebody who likes music and lamp chop. How would you feel about joining the group? I'd feel sheepish, but I'd do it. And that's how lamp chop became the fourth musician of Bremen. Dog, cat, and lamb chop. <laughs> Horse, dog, cat, and lamb chop followed the road to a small house in the woods, hoping that the people who lived there would give them something to eat and let them sleep on the floor for the night. Before they knocked on the door, the animals peeked in the window. Look, the room is filled with big bags. What's in those bags? Forget the bags. Look at all that food piled on the table. Those guys don't look like they'll share any of their food with us. They look mean. Cat was right. You see, the two men inside the house were robbers. Hmm, <laughs> must be dogwood. Hmm, <laughs> must be dogwood. Lampchop came up with a battle plan to try to scare the robbers away. She told her new friends to stand on each other's shoulders and then make the loudest and most horrible noises that they could possibly make. Let's go in and eat. The animals ate and drank until it was time to go to sleep, and they thought the big bags would make good pillows until they tried to <sighs> use them. What was that? When they looked into the sacks, they found them to be full of musical instruments. The first sack contained instruments from the string family, so horse and dog each picked a different stringed instrument to play. Dog chose the violin. 
horse chose the big string bass. Farmer Schnickle Pickle was chased out of his barn by his tractor this morning as he attempted to start it. The chase continues. The whereabouts of Schnickle Pickle and his tractor are unknown at this time. phone right now because we're out shopping. Yeah, we're out shopping, if you know what I mean. This is Little Bo Peep. Have you seen my sheep? I'm still real hungry. Hey, I think I hear a mouse. By then it was very late, so the animals decided to get some sleep and continue on to Bremen in the morning. Good night, everybody. Good, Good night, night Lamb day, the four musicians gathered up the instruments into one big sack. They left the house and continued on the road to Bremen. On the way, Cat and Lamb Chop decided that they wanted to play instruments too. <coughs> Cat picked out a clarinet, a member of the Woodwind family. And Lamb Chop, I want to play the piano. <laughs> Do you really want to walk all the way to Bremen with a piano on your back? Uh, what's in this sack that's little, like me? Lamb Chop picked out a flute. It's one of the smallest musical instruments. It's a member of the Woodwind family, just like Cat's clarinet. Bremen. 
Later that day, the animals met two new friends who both wanted to join the band of musicians. Lamb Chop gave Fox and Bear some instruments from the Brass family. Fox got a shiny trumpet. Bear got a long trombone. I know you're around here. Quit pulling the wool over my eyes. Later, they met one more animal who wanted to join their band of musicians. A raccoon! Lamb Chop gave Raccoon the drum, a member of the percussion family. And then the air was filled with music. For one after another, the musicians played their instruments as they made their way toward Bremen. When they reached the town square in the city of Bremen, Lamb Chop and the animals saw a man in tears. But his tears stopped suddenly when he saw the musicians of Bremen carrying their shiny instruments. Can you play those things? Sure. You want to hear us? I don't have time for that. You're on. On? On what? On stage. You see, the man was the town's music conductor. And every seat in the big music hall had been sold out for a concert that very night. The trouble was, the conductor didn't have any musicians to play for the audience until now.
rather good. But just as the musicians of Bremen were about to go inside and play for the waiting audience, they were stopped by a policeman. The policeman said that the instruments our animals were carrying had been stolen from another group of musicians by two robbers, and that Lamb Chop and her friends had to give all the instruments back right that very minute. <laughs> My concert! <laughs> oh, what will I do now? Just then, Lamb Chop noticed that there was a music store right next door to the music hall. Um, Mr. Conductor, why don't we just borrow some instruments from that music store over there? Brilliant! Yeah. You pick up your instruments and I'll tell the audience that there's going to be a concert after all! <laughs> Here's where you can help the musicians of Bremen get ready for their concert by picking the kind of music that they're going to play. To pick the music for the concert, just click the mouse on one of these pictures. To pick classical music for the concert, click here. To pick jazz music for the concert, click here. To pick rock music for the concert, click here. To pick marching band music for your concert, click here. You're on! The audience cheered when the conductor finally stepped up to the podium. But three men in the audience, who cheered louder than anyone, the original owners of Horse, Dog, and Cat, were there. Farmer Schnickle Pickle, Hammer Schlammer, and Zingenklingen. Isn't that a coincidence? It was a huge success, and when it was over, the three farmers came up on stage. They were very proud of the old animals they had rejected, so proud that they offered to buy all of the instruments that had been borrowed from the music store so that the musicians of Bremen would always be able to make music together. And from that day forward, the animals traveled and performed across the land. Their posters read, Farmers Schnickle Pickle, Hammer Schlammer, and Zingenklingen proudly present the Musicians of Bremen. And? And what? Go on. There's no one to go. That's it. The end. No, that's not the end. You didn't say Lamb Chop played her flute happily ever after. But does Lamb Chop play her flute happily ever after? I don't know. It's okay. You don't have to know. When you're ready, you'll pick the instrument that you want to play. I'm ready now. Yeah, you're ready for bed is what you're ready for. 
Okay, so could I listen to a lullaby? Sure. Want me to play it for you on the piano? No. Mm -mm. I want to hear it on all of the instruments. Yeah, well then, you're going to have to hear it inside your head. Good night, lamb chop. Oh, <sighs> okay. Um, I am going to listen to all of the wonderful instruments played by the musicians of Bremen. <laughs> Inside my head, huh? <laughs> First, the string family. Next, the woodwind family. Well, now that you know the story of the musicians of Bremen, you can find out about all of the different kinds of instruments by picking the music store. If you'd like to play along with us during the story, then click right here. If you'd rather just sit back and listen while we tell the story to you, click over here. If you've already heard the story and you want to go back to your favorite part, just click here. If you'd like to visit the music store and find out all about your favorite instruments, just click here. If you'd like to visit the game room and play some musical games, just click here. And when it's time for you to say goodbye, oh, I know Lamb Chop, but our friends will have to leave sometime. As I was saying, when you want to say goodbye, then click right here. So, you're going to the game room. The game room has all sorts of fun games and activities, and you just pick the game that you want to play once you get to the room. We've taken some of your favorite songs and jumbled them up. And it's your job to put the songs back together. And you do this by moving the pictures from the ground at the bottom of the screen onto the squares in the corn stalks. Click on the picture you want, then click on the square in the corn stalks where you want the picture to go. If you want to take a picture out of the squares in the corn stalks, just click on the picture and it will fall back to the ground. If you think you recognize the song and you want to hear the song play the right way, click on the little radio at the bottom of the screen. To hear the music for the pictures already in the corn stalks, click on the golden horn. Good luck! How about Ba Ba Black Sheep? That's terrific!
How about Jack and Jill? The musical memory game is about remembering. When you click on the play button, some or all of the musicians will play their instruments. Try to remember the order in which they played and then click on the musician who played first, then second, then third, and so on. If you want to see them play again, click on the play button again. This is a very tricky game, so listen and watch carefully. That's terrific! <laughs> Don't let the wacky musicians fool you. Click on a musician to hear an instrument play, but listen closely. Sometimes the instrument does not make the right sound. If you think the instrument is making the right sound, click the bell. If you think the instrument is making the wrong sound, click the gong. Boy, you're good at this. That's terrific! Congratulations! Oh, that's great! Try another one. Good job. It's up to you to stop the robbers. Don't let the robbers steal the instruments. When you hear an instrument play, find it on the right side of the screen and click on it before the robber gets it. Just click on the play button to start the game. <laughs> oh, oh, shucks, you got me. Oh, oh no. Oh, shucks, you got me. Congratulations! Can you help Dog find the sound? Dog is looking for an instrument. If you click on the play button, you can hear what the instrument sounds like. 
listen carefully to the sound, and then find the instrument and click on it. If you forget what the instrument sounds like, just click on the play button again. This is a real fun game, so have a great time. I'm looking for something that sounds like this. That doesn't sound like... Wow! You found the saxophone! Now I'm looking for something that sounds like this. Congratulations, you found the harp. Now I'm looking for something that sounds like this. Great work. You found the drum set. Now I'm looking for something that sounds like this. Cool. You found the tuba. Now I'm looking for something that sounds like this. Marvelous! You found the trumpet. If you'd like to play along with us during the story, then click So you're going to the music store. The music store has rooms where you can find out about all the different kinds of instruments. Just pick the door to the room that you want to visit once you're in the store. Welcome to the room of the string family. These instruments have strings that make sound when they vibrate. You usually play the string bass, standing up, either with a bow or by plucking the strings. It has long strings and it makes very deep sounds. The viola looks like the violin's big brother, and so it plays lower notes. The banjo looks like a guitar with a round body and it has five strings that make a twangy kind of sound. The harp has many strings of different lengths. How many strings? Actually, there are 47 strings. It has a sweet, magical sound, and you play the harp with your fingers. The electric guitar has to be plugged into an amplifier to be heard. But once it's plugged in, watch out! It can be the loudest instrument in the band. The acoustic guitar has either six or twelve strings. You can strum all the strings together, or you can pick one string at a time. The acoustic guitar can play many musical styles, from classical music to rock to country and western.
The violin is hollow and made out of wood. It has four strings that you can play with a bow or by plucking them with your fingers. You generally hold a violin between your neck and your shoulder in order to play. Cello looks like a real big violin, but you won't be able to tuck it under your chin to play it. Well, then how do you play it? You sit on a chair with your legs on either side of the cello, and you play it with a bow, or by plucking the strings with your fingers, it has a low, mellow sound. Welcome to the room of the woodwind family. Woodwinds need your wind power to make music. The clarinet is usually made of black wood from Africa or of molded plastic. It comes in sections that fit together. The clarinet has a very pure, clear sound. The flute is a tube with holes that can be opened or closed. To play the flute, you hold it sideways and you blow across the hole on one end. You can make different notes by pressing the keys to cover the holes. The English horn has a bell on the end. It's bigger than an oboe, so it can play lower notes. The oboe has a double reed like the bassoon, but it's much smaller. When you play the oboe, it makes a buzzy sound. To play the bassoon, you blow into a double reed. It has a very deep, mellow tone. The contra bassoon is long and tall. It plays so low that it almost sounds sort of fuzzy. The piccolo is played sideways like a teeny tiny flute. Its bright tone can sail right out over all of the other instruments. The tenor saxophone is made of brass and like the clarinet, it uses a single wooden reed that you blow into to make the sound.
The recorder is made of wood, and the mouthpiece has a slit that acts like a whistle. It has a very sweet, gentle sound. The baritone saxophone is one of the largest saxophones, so it usually plays the lowest notes of the woodwind family. <laughs> Welcome to the room of the percussion family. To make a sound on a percussion instrument, you scrape it, or you shake it, or you hit it with a stick, or you even hit it with your hands. Chimes are brass or steel tubes hanging in a frame, and you make sounds by hitting them with a wooden mallet. The gyro is a funny-looking piece of wood with ridges. And to play the gyro, you scrape across the ridges with a stick. The glockenspiel has two rows of metal bars that look like a piano keyboard. You use beaters to make very high tinkling sounds. The glockenspiel is often used in parades. The piano is called a percussion instrument instead of a stringed instrument because when you play the black and white keys on a piano, a hammer hits each string inside to make the different sounds. Timbales have metal bodies and come in pairs like the bongos. They usually rest on a stand. Gongs come in many sizes and are usually made of brass. They hang from a frame, and when you hit them, boy, do they make a big sound. The drum set has several percussion instruments, and it usually includes a snare drum, a bass drum, and cymbals. Sometimes you play the drum set using your hands and your feet at the same time. Crash cymbals are played by crashing them together. A timpani is a copper bowl with a thin plastic cover. You make high or low sounds by pressing a special pedal with your foot to tighten or loosen the cover. A timpani is also called a kettle drum. A xylophone has two rows of wooden bars arranged like the keys on a piano. When you play the xylophone, you can use hard or soft beaters to make hard or soft sounds. A synthesizer is an electric keyboard that often imitates the sounds of other instruments.
castanets fit right into the palm of your hand, and they make a clicking sound when you clap them together. The tambourine is like a little drum with thin metal circles around the edge. You can either hit the drum part to make a sharp sound or shake those metal circles to make a rattling sound. Cowbells give a hollow metallic sound. Can cows play cowbells? No, but farmers sometimes do put cowbells on their cows' necks so that they can find them in the field. Bongos are drums that come in pairs, and one is bigger than the other. You play bongos by striking them with your hands or your fingers. Maracas have a hollow wooden shell. When you shake your maracas, the seeds that are inside the shell bang against the sides and make a swishing sound. The triangle is a steel rod bent into the shape of a triangle. You hold the triangle from a piece of string and you hit it with a beater so that the metal bar vibrates. Welcome to the room of the brass family. To make music with these instruments, you have to buzz your lips into a cup-shaped mouthpiece to get the air vibrating. The trumpet is a very popular brass instrument, and it can play very loud or very soft sounds. The French horn is made of metal tubing twisted into a circle with a big bell-shaped opening on the end. You play notes by pushing down levers to make the tubing longer or shorter. The French horn has one of the most mellow sounds in the orchestra. The trombone has a big slide that you push in and pull out to get different notes. A tuba is a huge brass instrument that you hold upright. It plays the lowest notes in the whole brass family. The piccolo trumpet is the smallest trumpet, and it can play very high notes. horn has a bigger and fatter tube than a trumpet, and so it makes a more mellow sound. If you'd like to play along with us, Sure you want to go already? Oh, well, bye for now. Sorry, I have thought about it, and I still want to play the piano. Okay, Lamb Chop. And 
the flute. The flute is nice. And the trumpet. The trumpet, too? And the violin. Uh, Lamb Chop. And I want to learn to play them all tomorrow. Well, Lamb Chop, it takes some time and a lot of training to learn to play a musical instrument. Training? Uh-huh. Maybe you should learn them one at a time. Maybe you're right. <laughs> and? Yes, Lamb Chop. And maybe someday I could be a conductor. Oh, that would be nice. Conductors get to ride in their very own trains. No, 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 no. A train conductor is different from a music conductor. Why are they different? They're both conductors, aren't they? Yes, they're both conductors, but they are not the same. Well, maybe I could train to be a musical conductor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lamb chop.